The community is still reeling from gunshots flying in multiple locations. Yesterday in Norfolk, a total of seven were hit by gunfire. And tonight we now know the name of the teen who Norfolk police say was shot and killed in one of those cases. The one near Ward's Corner yesterday afternoon, 19 year old Jonathan Clark died inside his car at that intersection. And shortly after that deadly incident, another separate shooting left three men dead and two others hurt at Fenner Gardens Apartments. News to reporter Antoinette Dell Bell went back to the scenes where all of this violence unfolded. These two shootings are not related, but played out just blocks away from each other. A total of four people died and three others were hurt. This is where that first deadly shooting happened in the middle of East Little Creek Road near Ward's Corner. So right there and then the two cars ahead of it. Brendan Vaughn was working at the plaza when he says he heard the crash just before 3 p.m. The customer and I heard a loud bang. And so we're looking up and we see this burgundy car. It looked like it crashed into the car in front of it and then that car crashed into the front of it. Setting off a chain reaction. That red car shot up, riddled with bullet holes. The driver, police say, was 19-year-old Jonathan Clark. He died immediately. Detectives say a 17-year-old was with Clark at the time and was badly hurt. We're still working to get an update on his condition. But employees at Ward's Corner say that teen ran into one of the stores, bleeding and asking for help. A group of military members nearby giving him first aid until an ambulance came. There were military personnel surrounding the scene. Um, they were um, just trying to figure out where the suspect went. Um, cops shortly came up after that. That employee then let some of those people involved in the crash inside his store, helping to calm them down. I let them into the store so that they could cool off, get out of the heat, get some water. It's just the right thing to do. And just blocks away, nearly two hours later, another deadly separate shooting. Police say three men were killed and two others were hurt at Fenner Gardens apartments. One of the victim's daughters tells us she spoke with her father right before he was killed. And then five minutes later, I received a phone call stating my daddy got shot in the head. She says the mass shooting stemmed from an argument over drugs. Anybody that know my daddy, he, was, he, he didn't get into no trouble. A small memorial now sits at the apartment complex, honoring those victims. And that family is still very distraught and emotional and asked us to give them their space as they grieve. Meantime, there are still no suspects in either of these shootings. In Norfolk, Antoinette Delbell, News 3.